Hello everyone, this is Mighty Joe here. Today I'm going to do the very anticipated uh, video review of the new Iron Gripper 8 from GD Industries. This is the box it's in and the grippers in the box. I'm going to go over a few of the specs and a little bit about GD Industries before I get into the, the real meat of the review. But this is the box you'll get if you order one right here. And this is what you'll see when you open the box. It's very nice packaging, a really heavy duty box. There's the iron gripper in the box. They got a, a, a instruction sheet right here, uh, how to set the gripper. And then it's got like a little advertisement thing with a couple of good pictures on it. So now here it is out of the box. Okay, let me set that there. Let me get the box out of the way. Okay, now here's the gripper right here. As you can see, it's got five settings, different strength settings. What creates the resistance is these two compression springs right here, the red ones. Here's the other side. It says Iron Gripper. And this is made in Korea by GD Industries. GD meaning good design. Uh, they treat their products like gold and diamonds is what the general manager told me. And they want them of that quality. And I'm here to tell you, there is not a higher quality gripper more precisely made than this iron gripper. If there is, please point me to it, okay? Very precise made. You can move it, shake it, I don't care what you do, it will not make a noise. Uh, let's go over some of the specs and then I'll get right into the uh, how to use this thing and the settings on it. And I also did some RGC ratings of my own compared to these factory settings and I'm going to go over them as well and all them settings and the comparisons can be seen on my blog at musclewhitepapers.blogspot.com okay uh, this gripper the handle length is the same as your regular torsion spring grippers they're three and three quarter inches long they're not quite three quarters of an inch in diameter, they're 0.739. Uh, the handle spread just like this is two and a quarter inches and something I'm going to say right up front so everybody know, you'll see these two stops. The gripper, the handles do not shut all the way. That's it right there. There's like a quarter inch gap with it closed. The handles don't shut, they hit the stops. You see that? That's shut all the way. Okay. I don't see that. Some will see that instantly as a disadvantage. I don't, and we'll say why here in a minute. But let's finish going over the gripper itself. Uh, the length of this thing, like from one end to the other, is just a little over six inches. Uh, it weighs a little over a pound and a half. Uh, like I said, it's very precise made. The knurling is not too aggressive and it's not too smooth either. To, to me, it, it's kind of like a perfect balance of, of knurling. I really like it and it's chrome plated. Uh, the settings on here, if you can see that, They're in kilograms, okay? There's 26, 38, 51, 65, and 80. And by the way, the GD8 gripper, iron gripper, the 8 means the max strength setting of this gripper, which is 80 kilograms, okay? And something I didn't mention about this company, they've been making adjustable hand grippers for about 10 years. And this one, there was about six months of research and design into making the iron gripper. So they got a lot of experience at making adjustable grippers, hand grippers. 
So it's not like they're new to this. It's just they're not that well known in the United States. Okay, if you want an equivalent, like a conversion, 26 kilograms would be 57.2 pounds. 38 would be 83.6. 51 would be 112.2 pounds. 65 kilograms would be 143 pounds. And 80 kilograms would be 176 pounds. Now, before I get into a comparison of the RGC ratings that I've done myself on my calibrator, uh, I'm going to show you how you adjust this thing from one setting to the next. If you'll notice, there's a little clip right here, a little latch. To, to go to another setting, you barely squeeze the handles, push down on the latch, and it opens up and allows this to move, okay? And then you can go right to the next setting. Went from there to there. Same way to get it back in position, you barely squeeze it, push on the opposite end, and it's locked in place. So you barely squeeze it, push down, and go all the way from the easiest to the max setting, okay? Real simple, and it locks in place very securely. I've not had this thing come undone at all. That's why you have to squeeze it to release it because the spring tension keeps this locked in place, okay? Uh, like I said, it makes no noise, very precise, very smooth. It's just and it's real, it's real even. It's real hard to explain. It doesn't ramp up like a torsion spring gripper. That's the two stops hitting each other. Okay. All right. Now what I did, and and there's a point note, an important note to make here, is how they rated it versus how we rate them in the grip community with torsion spring grippers. I come back, and as do the other guys that calibrate grippers, all the way back to this knurling, right here. Right at the edge of the hand, at the end of the handle, with a one inch strap, okay? I wanted to see how they come up with their ratings, and I did that by asking a question, and the question was, how far back did they go on the handle when they did their calibrations? Well, it's one inch back. And lo and behold, I went one inch back also just to see, and I come up within ounces of the same identical ratings that they did. I mean, so, and let me tell you, the, the machine they use to calibrate grippers is very precise made. It's all digital. It's in a special made vise. And a hydraulic cylinder with a wheel on the end of it pushes down one inch back until these stops hit and that's how they get their their rating but I'm gonna tell you what their the difference is RGC and factory here's what I come up with rating from the end of the handle on the 26 kilogram setting I come up with 43.6 pounds okay that's a 13 pound difference in the factory on the 38 kilogram setting I come up with 69.2 pounds okay that's a 14.4 pound rating difference okay on the 51 kilogram I come up with 98 pounds even that's a 14.2 pound difference 65 kilogram setting factory setting I come up RGC with 128 pounds even that's a 15 pound difference okay but keep in mind the one inch, they go one inch back from the end of the handle, not at the end of the handle. Uh, on the max setting, 80 kilograms, uh, I come up with 164.6 pounds, which is an 11.4 pound difference. And, you know, that, that's a range from 11 to 15 pounds difference, but like I said, they go back an inch where we go all the way to the end of the handle. So, to answer an important question, their, their ratings are very accurate. It's just where they apply the force on the handle when they set it up to calibrate it. So, we're all good there. Now, 
the the use of this thing I really like. Like I said, it's it's unlike any torsion spring gripper because the the tension is so uniform all the way throughout the range of motion. Okay, and two and a quarter inch handle spread is perfect for credit card practicing uh, credit card sets. It goes right between there with just a little bit of play. Okay, and these settings, like I said, you push down. Go to the next one. You can hear it click. Click. Go to the next one. I'll see how far I can go with no chalk. No warming up. That's on uh, 51, which is 98. There's that. And on the, if you go to 80, 80 kilogram setting, let me tell you, it's stout. I had my son Cody who shuts numerous number threes and his best close to date is a 162 narrow super elite. He liked about a 16th of an inch shutting this thing on the highest setting. So that 165 or 164.6 is, I'm telling you, it's within a few ounces of, of dead on. So there's 65 kilogram setting which I come up RGC 128 I'll, I'll give it a try here I don't like doing this without warming up my hands are sliding I think I got it but on the next setting uh, it's out of the ballpark for me so anyway now, to answer a few questions that you're probably curious about that I asked the manager, the general manager, and the CEO of the company. His name's Jisoo Ann from Korea. And I asked him if they plan on having any more, more settings. And they, he said no. But what they, what they are going to do is try to get the increments where they're not so far apart. Instead of being like, when you go from 58 to set to you go from 65 kilograms to 80, I mean, it's a, it's a huge jump, like over 40 pound jump. Uh, even from the 26 kilogram setting to the 38 kilogram setting, uh, you're looking at over a 20 pound jump. So they're gonna keep it within five different settings, but they're gonna uh, develop them where they're not so far apart. And that, I think that would be good. Okay, now on the handles not touching, his answer to me, it wasn't in detail, but he said the reason they did that, they did it on purpose, it's because they believe that closing a gripper all the way to the handles touch is hard on one's hands. Now that doesn't mean that in the future they're not gonna make one that will touch because keep in mind, I'm gonna be in constant communication with this company to try to help them you know, fine tune this thing to meet the needs of, you know, the majority of the grip community that shuts grippers. Because I don't think it's out of the question that they would eventually do it to where the handles will shut. And keep in mind, and I know this from years of experience just in the iron game, the thinking and training between the East and the West, the U.S. being the West, Korea, China, Europe, all in the East, their training strategies and philosophies are quite different from us in the West. So when he says it's for, it's too hard on the hands, I mean, he's saying that based on their belief and their training philosophy. So, but that's not to say he won't make a future version that'll touch. So uh, we'll just see. But that's the Iron Gripper. Very well made. Very reasonably priced. I mean, you can get this thing for around 80 bucks shipped, uh, maybe slightly over $80. Uh, most precision made gripper I own to date. It's adjustable, it's smooth, quiet. I mean, the knurling's nearly perfect. So I hope this review helped you. Uh, stay tuned because they're still doing research on this to make it more adjustable as in the increments not being so far apart and hopefully we can get them to where they'll make a version that the handles touch or even better
possibly make a version that has an adjustable width where you can go from say parallel sets to credit card sets which this is perfect for credit card training and that's why I initially said that this right here the stops touching and the handles not closing doesn't make it not a useful training tool it makes it very useful especially for credit card serves if nothing else to get you that initial sweep I mean to me that's huge so there you go I appreciate your time thanks for watching and I'll see you next time